guys, what's up? We just finished filming the video for Good Girls Go Bad. It's nice to be done. I'm back in my regular clothes again. Excuse me, sorry. Suarez, um... What? I'm sorry we're filming. Suarez, so we've been looking over your file. I have a file? I noticed that you have a lot of talents that you're not really utilizing. Like what? How would you feel about having your own cooking show? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, what's the catch? There is no catch. See you tomorrow. 5.15 a.m. Bright and early. Alright. Get excited. Yeah. Smirky Products presents Bro Nepotite with Alex Suarez and Mark Winters. Hi, I'm Alex Suarez. And I'm Mark Winters. And today we're going to be making, Mark, one of my favorite dishes, Minneapolis Street Stew. That sounds good to me. Let's get started. So, Mark, this dish originated back in the 1930s in Minneapolis. Story has it that, uh, you know, back during the Great Depression, before Minneapolis was even a city, it was just a bunch of people hanging out, and they didn't have any money, ah. so they used to just take everything they had, and they just put it all into a pot and stewed it. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and get this pan nice and hot. We're gonna add some olive oil. Um, where the hell's the olive oil? You've seen olive oil? Sick and tired of losing your olive oil and not being able to find it? Stop! Tired of spending seconds, sometimes minutes, searching for your olive oil? Don't be stupid! Order the olive oil jockey, now. Ah, here it is right here. So now we're gonna go ahead and saute our chilies, onions, and garlic, and then we're gonna go ahead and throw them in the oven so they can get nice and golden brown for our baked stew. And they're gonna be in there for about 30 to 45 minutes. Did you say this is gonna take 45 minutes? I'm beat, and 45 minutes is just the perfect amount of time for a power nap. Power nap? Here in the kitchen? With the all new Bed Buggy Junior, you can take a nap literally anywhere. In the kitchen, in the park, in the shower, running errands, literally anywhere. From the makers of the Bed Buggy, it's the Bed Buggy Junior. Order now. Well, uh, now that our vegetables have finished browning in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and grab our dough, which I got over here, picked it up at the local pizzeria. To this dough, we're gonna add some fresh rosemary, some fresh thyme, and some fresh dill. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you say you're gonna add dill to that dough? Sick and tired of constantly adding dill to your dough? Ah. Stop! Introducing Dill Dough, the pre-made dill-flavored dough. Dill Dough, <laughs> the San Francisco treat. Everyone loves a little Dill Dough. Anywho, um, we got our apples diced up here. We're gonna go ahead and soak them in some apple cider vinegar. But wouldn't you know it, I can't find my apple cider vinegar. Constantly losing your apple cider vinegar? Tired of spending moments, sometimes seconds, searching for your apple cider vinegar? Don't be an idiot! Order the apple cider vinegar jockey now. Here it is. <laughs> cool. It's really funny, it looks exactly like the olive oil jockey. <laughs> nah. All right. Just like they do in Minneapolis, we're gonna be making some Bloody Marys. Ooh. After tomato juice, we're gonna add some vodka and the traditional little stirring stick garnish celery. Mm -hmm. You know what I hate about Bloody Marys? No. What? The way the ice cubes melt and water down the entire drink, it's disgusting. Water ice cubes make your Bloody Mary sobering and dull. Introducing... The Bloody Mary Ice Caddy. Isn't that just a regular ice cube tray? The Bloody Mary Ice Caddy. Order in the next 30 seconds and you'll also get the orange juice freeze daddy. And if you order now, you'll also get the vanilla ice ice baby for free. You know what? Fuck it. Call in in the next 15 seconds and we'll throw an umbrella umbrella for free. Tired of getting your umbrella wet? Fuck that shit. Umbrella umbrella. Now. All right, looks like our dish is finally done. Let's go and pull it out of the oven and see how it came out. Bro, Bro appetit. appetit! 